Hello, welcome to the next episode of Halo. This is Banshee Flyer. Um, sorry if the last one's too short. I'm too lazy to check and see how short it was. Eh, 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 all what she said. But, um, I'm gonna start this episode now. Don't really have anything to say. Chief, don't be a fool. Leave me. Captain? Captain? I've lost him. You seriously running away from that? Except they can't die, and for some reason they carry grenades, but never use them. But yeah, we're back on the Truth and Recon with, um... Oh my god! I'm sure his death. Killed his own man. Killed his arm off. Half of this level is fun. The other half of it's mildly annoying. Analyzing damage. This hole was caused by some kind of explosive. Very powerful if it tore through the ship's hull. All I detect down there are pools of coolant. We should continue our search somewhere else. Yep. So, uh... You can see the end of the skybox down there. But usually the first time I go, the first couple of times I go through that, I usually end up failing. Warning, threat level increasing. I usually end up falling down that mistake, mistakenly. You're supposed to, but for the sake of enjoying our viewers, you know, you're supposed to go back through. But I mean you're not supposed to go back through. I mean it's scripted so that you go back through. Oops. Okay, well, she basically complains about you, and then she tells you to jump. Which is just what I did. This part of the level is kind of a... I mean, it's fun... Because you're kind of wandering around Let's this... Let's get out of here and find another way back aboard the ship. <laughs> Look how close it is. It's actually literally right there. You jump out of that, which looks a lot bigger up there, but you know, it was hard to scale games back then. Plus, this is also 2001, which means it was a lot harder to uh, make the games look good enough. Without, um. Without making it too. What am I trying to say? Without, without killing every. I mean. They had to make it so that there was enough to look nice, but not too much so that nobody could run it. And so therefore they just basically took the same model that we had before, made it, brought it up a little bit closer. I mean, it's literally, you know, as, as tall as the top of those, which in themselves aren't that big. I don't know why I'm trying to explain this to you, because there's really no point. I feel like I was trying to explain something earlier, but I wasn't. Oh yeah, this part of the level is kind of annoying, because while you're... it feels like I'm in Utah, lots of deep canyons, but this, you know, walking through levels of coolant is pretty cool because, you know, there's like a green glow everywhere. But at the same time, it's mildly annoying because there's a lot of tight corners and I seem to run out of ammo all the time. And as you can see, I'm already at low health. I think I'm just going to wait this battle out for a second there. Um, normally I charge in guns ablazing, but for the sake of not wanting to die a whole bunch of times in every single episode, I record it. I'll just uh, hang back once in a while. I remember playing this game and always thinking of the if they ever made a game in the future. Like when Halo 2 came out, I was half expecting the flood to be able to consume other floods, to be able to consume life beings and turn them while you're watching them turn. Yeah, they did that in Halo 3. So it's kind of cool, but there's one thing I was really disappointed in Bungie for was the fact that they decided to, you know, give PC fingers, PC fingers the middle user, PC users the middle finger, and even though you know technically Halo was originally designed for the Xbox when it came out, it still would have been nice if they made it for the computer. There's a lot of stuff in the computer that they have that they don't have in the Xbox. For instance, multiplayer in this one has flamethrower, 
when the Xbox version doesn't. This has a lot better modding tools. Um, obviously, I mean, any cons any PC version of a console game is going to have modding tools. Can't really go into a script of a of an Xbox game or a PS3 game or whatever. I mean, the Halo 2 version. Head this way towards the ship's gravity. Shut up, Cortana. The Halo 2 version of the PC came out with like 10 extra maps from the Xbox version. And oh, big poop. And was, um, I think it came out with some stuff. I don't know, I could be wrong. But, uh, the only problem with that was that it was originally designed to only run on Windows Vista, which, you know, at the time everybody was oogling over Vista because it looked sleek and. You know, it was supposed to be very good for businesses, which it was. Um, for business, maybe, but nothing for gaming. You know, fortunately, Halo 2 works on Windows 7, and I think it might work on XP, actually. Right, they're dropping from the sky here, so I kind of got to be careful on where I'm walking. We should head this way, towards the ship's gravity lift. <laughs> See, I'm already almost out of ammo. There's no point in giving you a sniper here. I mean, there is if you want to take out those hunters. But outside of that, you know, the, this is kind of, I guess, the biggest part where you find out how useless the sniper is against Flood. You start shooting at them and then you realize, wow, this isn't working. Is the game wrong glitching up? I mean, they never really explained. Look how much blood is dropping off those guys. Anyway, I'm going to watch this battle out a little bit because it's kind of annoying. Until it quiets down a little bit. Those guys are really annoying. Nah. I don't get it why they're shooting at me. Oh, nice. Okay, I think I've had enough of dealing with them. I can see. Here. The crash did more damage than I suspected. Analyzing. Coolant leakage rate is significant. The ship's reactor should already have gone critical. But why didn't it, Cortana? Huh? Why didn't it? Oh, are you going to be mysterious and not tell me? Well, that did a lot of damage from far away. What's that health pack? Plasma weapons are never a bad thing to ignore in this part of the game because they're actually very effective against the flood. It's like the shotgun is the most effective human weapon. I guess the plasma rifle in general is effective against everything. The only problem is that it overheats, which is you know, not that bad, but... Oh jeez. I guess the whole point of this part is to beat the flood to the gun. Because it's kind of fun, you know, use the gun for a while there, but um, it doesn't work when you aren't fast enough because you don't remember that you were supposed to be that fast. You can flip the gun turret. Yep. Any time now. Oh, it's F, not E. Crap, crap, crap. No time. <laughs> okay. This isn't going to work. Where is he? Where is he? Another one? Yes. I'm supposed to blast the poop out of them as soon as they come around the corner. So 
many of them. Seriously, I can almost touch it. I love that feeling that you get, though. It's quiet and desolate, and just... I think it's a nostalgic feeling, I guess it would probably be the best way to describe it, but, you know, it's just quiet. You know, it has a nice glow to everything. It's so atmospheric. Can't really explain it, but I just love that feeling. It happens a lot during around Christmas time because, you know, it's just quiet during all the, you know, when there's snow everywhere and everything just has a soft glow to it. Wow, I feel like I sacrificed a little bit of my masculinity there. But if you guys all know how that feeling is, then my, uh, my effort should not be in vain. Holy Jesus! What the hell was that? Anyways, I think this episode. No, oh, no, never mind. I started it. Okay. Got five more minutes. Ignore my stupid self. Here. That took him out. Instead of ammo. Great. Now what? Oh my god, they didn't drop a single weapon? I'm screwed. I have to use my shotgun now. Oh, there we go. A kneeler. From what I remember, that is one of the most ineffective weapons. Unless you, like, shoot a whole load full into one of them. Oh. This works. Power source detected. There's the gravity lift. <laughs> Don't you go that far it's up. still operational. That's our way back in. So this part... It's not a gauntlet per se, but... Oh geez. Well, it's more like an attack and defense. Yeah, the only real gauntlet part of this... Oh no, 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 no. Whee! Start over from here? That's kind of lame. I'll just give these guys some grenades. Something to think about. Oh, yeah. I hear him, but do not see... Whatever, it doesn't matter. Power source detected. There's the gravity lift. It's nope. still operational. That's our way back in. Whether this is, uh, good... Whether this is... 5 15 minutes, uh, or not. I'm gonna just go ahead and finish this part of... Oh crap, not a good idea to be here. Oh, come on! How do they walk in there? There. Scared. Running for safety. Great. 
Aha. Okay, I want that assault rifle back. Well, this will do fine. Okay, I'm gonna go that ahead and finish detected. this part of the game. The get it over with. It's still operational. Levels nowhere That's near our over. Way back in. And by nowhere near over, I mean partially over. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish this part of it, so it's a little bit you know, just just to get it out of the way. So I can start the episode on a good spot. Bunny hop around the place. I'll let these guys figure it out. Or he can explode prematurely. Boom! Lost a sound there. Okay, I gotta wait here. This part's a little bit tricky on harder difficulties, never mind. Sometimes it is. But, that uh, time it wasn't. We should be able to get into the ship's control room from here. Yep. So, um, that's it for this episode. See you all in the next episode of Halo.